The Bible says that those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. God isn't an individual like you and I. The Bible has compared God to be one who is holy. He is someone who is set apart. He is someone who none of us can compare ourselves to. You see, the issue with society is that when we talk about goodness, we compare ourselves to each other. Because I haven't stolen in six months, I'm considered a good person. Or because I haven't raped somebody in three years, I'm considered a good person. We compare ourselves to each other. And with that standard, we consider ourselves to be okay. Now let's compare ourselves to the laws of God and let's see how we do. The Bible says that every single one of us has broken the laws of God. Every single one of us has committed a heinous crime against God. God has appointed a day, God has set a day where he will judge the world in righteousness and in truth. If we were to define the word goodness, it would mean to be morally perfect. It would, be, it would mean to be morally flawless. But there is nobody who is morally perfect. There is nobody who can say that, there are that they are flawless. This is why the King of King came. This is why God took on flesh. He kept the law that you and I couldn't keep. He live that perfect life that you and I are trying so desperately to live. And he died on the cross. The Bible says, and in three days he rose from the grave, defeating death, validating that what God did on the cross was acceptable in the eyes of the Father. The Bible says that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him whoever whether you be a liar whether you be a fornicator whether you be someone who watches pornography whether you be somebody who masturbates the bible says that for whoever believes in the son whoever believes in jesus christ whether you be gay whether you be straight the Bible has made it clear that whoever believes in Jesus Christ and turns away from their wicked ways, whoever repents and puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the Bible has made it clear that God will forgive you of all your sins you've ever committed. You will pass from death to life. And God will also write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. You see, the heaven isn't gained by our good works. The Bible says that our righteousness is like filthy rags in the eyes of God. Our goodness, the things that we are trying to do in order to earn our way into heaven, the Bible has, has compared it to a filthy rag. It means that every single one of us has fallen short. He 